try to highlight two or three uh, highlights from our own history. When the occupation of Europe in the 30s uh, by Nazi Germany was about to be um, to, to, to prepare to, to be realized, Czechoslovakia was one of the first countries on the list. And at that time in Munich, uh, it was 38, uh, superpowers of the world at that time decided that uh, for the sake of peace, Czechoslovakia would uh, uh, give up its territory uh, in favor of Hitler, of Nazi Germany, uh, and that by this way we will preserve the peace in Europe. You know the result. Uh, the peace in Europe was impossible to preserve, and it was a first compromise of uh, democratic countries with Nazism that we can have as a highlight uh, and which bounded the Czechoslovak identity at the time. At that time, our militaries were ready to fight and they cannot fight because political leadership told them to stop and to give up. And this lesson is extremely deep in our hearts and in our mindset. But second highlight was maybe 68. Uh, uh, many people recall the Prague Spring in 68 when Russian and, and Soviet and Warsaw Pact, uh, to be more precise, militaries occupied Czechoslovakia because our Communist Party was too liberal for Kremlin. Another very harsh lesson from the his history, when our country was militarily occupied by uh, Russians and uh, its allies. Uh, so I think that uh, for many reasons, uh, Czech public opinion was ready to help. And when we saw the images at the TV, many people said, oh, they are back. Uh, the Russians are still occupying and uh, killing innocent people, we have to help. So I think that on this uh, bedrock, uh, many political uh, leaders succeeded to convince uh, the Czech Republic of today to engage and to engage extremely quickly because our own freedom and sovereignty is at stake also. Pavel, I want to move now to Taiwan. Czech, the Czech Republic was one of the first European countries to move closer to Taiwan. There was the sort of landmark visit by uh, the speaker, uh, Milos Vistrichel, in 2020, and he channeled John F. Kennedy in his speech to Taiwan's parliament, saying, I am a Taiwanese. Could I find out from you, uh, is there a difference in support in the Czech Repub Republic between the parliament the administration and the citizens. When I go back to this historical visit of our uh, chairperson or speaker of the Senate, uh, I see myself preparing the visit and discussing with my president whether visit or not and at which cost. At this very period of time, the Senate was blackmailed blackmailed by Chinese proxies and by Chinese embassy in Prague, in Czech Republic. And it was not only by words, but also by very special text on the letterhead of the Chinese communist embassy here in Prague. So this meddling into internal affairs put completely all the sentiments apart and we had to protect our democracy, our democratic institutions. And by doing this, we succeeded to build a very strong coalition uh, across uh, political partisanship, uh, maintaining very high the sovereignty of our parliament and inviting our chair, our president, our speaker to visit Taiwan. So by it was also Beijing who helped us to shape this consensus, which was extremely strong. And uh, in terms of sympathies, many people in the public opinion read it properly and they said, yes, 
this is the moment to say the truth, not only about the democracy in, ta in Taiwan, but also about the methods of blackmailing we were exposed to by Chinese communist regime. Taiwan is for us an ally. We have witnessed it many times during uh, the pandemic, during the natural disasters occurred in uh, the Czech Republic. And we have a very close feelings of being together as vibrant democracies. By the way, parliaments are sovereign, uh, be it in Taiwan, or in the Czech Republic, in Poland, in Lithuania. And this sovereignty, we have the obligation, the noble obligation to share together. So if uh, one of us is under fire, we have to help.